J Flight 27 RLS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan from Jayco RV. Uh, first thing I'd like to talk about on these is that since 2005 and counting, these things have been the number one selling travel trailer out there. From 2005 for 10 consecutive years, the J Flight family has outsold every other travel trailer out there. So the question is, why? What makes these things so darn popular? Why is this the best selling travel trailer in North America? like to share these uh, you know these videos with you to give you a couple of those reasons um, you'll see a lot of things now in common with these J flights because they were so far ahead of their time they have 30 pound tanks instead of 20 pounders it gives you 50 percent more dry camp time things like the power awning and power tongue jack um, J flight was doing it better with higher quality mechanical items than uh, other manufacturers for a very long time um, the whole idea there is you're spending more time enjoying your campsite, less time setting it up. Uh, you see, uh, you, well, I'm, I'm pretty far away. Let me get a little closer here. You see the little black tag right here. This has a built-in black tank flush system. So you don't have to get any of those, uh, you know, annoying, ugly hoses to flush things out. Outside shower standard. J-Flight was doing that first. Um, you know, more baggage doors, bigger baggage doors, more things that they were doing long before anybody else best in class water heater 18 gallons per hour fast recharge gas and electric water heater there are other manufacturers that offer that there's a reason Jayco was doing it first they made it so that it, to stay competitive everybody else had to do it this is the front runner this is the one that everyone else is copying they're trying to crack this recipe to make it happen um, you see uh, windows in the sides of slide outs they're nice for a lot of light, but they also need to open. They need to give you more than just light. They have to open and give you fresh air and cross ventilation. J flights do that. A lot of manufacturers do not. See, even these little vertical side windows, they open 50% of the way on a J flight. Um, oversized downspouts, the, the big rain gutter spouts up here, those cut down on your black streaks that keep water away from the trailer. Those kind of things are one of the reasons these are more reliable. All of those things are the reason this sticker right here indicates to you this has twice the warranty of anything else in its class. Twice the warranty of anything else in its class. It's, it's built better to last longer. It's a better quality camper. Um, always check your options list. We add some things to this to make these really nice. This is really our pride and joy line. You can probably tell just by the way I'm speaking, but um, you know things like the thermal package. You see how this is fully enclosed under here? Um, this adds a, uh, they also add a layer of thermal foil insulation and uh, that will essentially double the R factor in the roof and the floor. It actually goes a bit beyond that, but that's close enough. Now, another really critical point I like to point out here, and I don't know if the camera is going to work very well for this, but where the underbelly material right there meets the I-beam, you see how the underbelly material is mounted on top of the I-beam. That means that that stuff can't sag and droop down below the I-beam and create gaps. When there's gaps, air can get in, critters can get in, water can get in, and then that whole enclosed underbelly thing is worthless. Um, we also have this upgraded with the Elite package, as you see this sticker here. So if you're looking at another J flight and it's a dollar cheaper, if it doesn't have that sticker, you instantly know why. There's a list of like 10 things that go into that. A couple of the high points is you add a power LED light strip under your awning. And what's nice is Jayco mounts that in a C-channel against the side of the coach. Um, I've seen other manufacturers start to do that LED lighting, but they're trying to do it the cheap way. They're just gluing it to the side. Well, when you get aluminum hot in the sun, that glue gets pliable, and then it gives way. And then you have this ugly LED light strip with sticky glue strands hanging down onto your camper and smacking glue against the side of your trailer. You can't have that in a Jayco. They take the preventative measures. That's why they have the better warranty. They take those extra steps. They use better quality uh, furnitures. They use better quality carpets. And that is literally true. This is Shaw Carpeting. That's a name brand you could get in your house. Um, most manufacturers don't use Armstrong linoleum on the floor. Most use stuff called Bow Floor nowadays. It has a two-year cold crack guarantee. It's very nice. It's very good stuff. Jayco goes a step beyond that. They use uh, a stuff called um, Diamond Floor. It has a three-year cold crack guarantee. Even their floor covering has 50% more warranty. Um, real quick note, the color scheme on the fabrics we're looking at here, this is called Fawn. And I'm pointing that out because if your pictures look different from this video, the pictures are probably more accurate. 
The video is here to tell you about the J-Flight, to show you what this thing is and how it's laid out. It's not necessarily here to accurately represent every single nut, bolt, and widget. This is, this is for informational and educational purposes. Um, you see, when you do have windows in a J-Flight, they're bigger. Most uh, rear window floor plans in this class are smaller. Overhead doors, lift them up. You see how Jayco gives you not just a strut so you don't have to hold this open with your head, but a metal strut. It's not gonna wear out. Plastic struts break over time. Your doors, far better in a J-Flight. Now, that's one of the parts of the uh, Elite package is you upgrade a lot of your cabinet doors um, to uh, hardwoods. And I mean, even the crown molding in here. The height of a Jayco is another thing. And your J-Flights, these are 81 inches tall inside. Industry standard is 78. It means three more inches of cabinet, three more inches of headroom in the shower, three more inches of bright, open, breathable space. So, you know, I can see other versions of this floor plan, like, you know, from Salem and KZ and other people, but they're not as tall, they're not as open, they don't have the heavier nuts, bolts, and widgets. That's why this outsells those brands. You know, they're a dollar cheaper, but you get less than a dollar more for it, you know? That's, that's the whole point. Um, the skylight here is part of that Elite package. It's one of the reasons with absolutely no power, no light run to this unit, you see a nicer, brighter interior. Standard, J-Flight has an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer. In English, that means this is 30% larger than anything else in this class. A lot of manufacturers don't even offer you the chance to upgrade to an eight. Jayco gives you an eight standard. Um, Jayco really listens to customer feedback. The 26 RLS, the predecessor to this floor plan, had no pantry space. So Jayco gave you a massive floor to ceiling pantry next to this. Um, the television, by the way, is included in this box over here. It's an LED high def flat screen. Um, it comes with a wall mount. It mounts right to that uh, wall right there. Now what's neat is right below this, you have a couple things going on. You have a little shelf for a little electronics. So if you want to take, you know, like a cell phone and set it down here, you can set your phone chargers right there. You can also wirelessly interface with this. This is a Bluetooth enabled stereo CD DVD player. It does everything. It's an all-in-one entertainment system. Now, the little things get me excited. Um, I don't just, you know, tell you about these. I actually go camping. So, these are the things I look for. This has a shoe garage. It's the tiniest thing in the world, guys, but it's the biggest thing in the world. It costs you absolutely nothing, and it gives you such a better camping experience. You have a place to put your shoes. Without one of those, your shoes end up in this big, ugly pile by the door, and you trip on them every time you walk in and out. Oh, speaking of the door of a J-Flight, it's also wider. This is a, I think it's 33 inch wide door. It's, it's at least three inches wider than industry standard. Um, LED lights, standard in a J-Flight. No incandescent bulbs that you have to constantly replace. And they're more energy efficient. Your battery lasts longer. Your air conditioner in a J-Flight, we will typically upgrade this from a standard 13,500 BTU to a 15,000 BTU. In English, that means this is 50% more powerful. It gives you more cold air. That bigger air conditioner plus the thermal package we put on these means you can take this out west, down south, wherever the sun is absolutely cooking and stay comfortable inside your camper. This is one of the, this is the main reason for the redesign from the 26 to the 27 RL um, S is the bathroom. We have a private walkthrough middle bathroom with a full standing shower. And I do mean standing shower. Again, I'm a tall person. I'm like 6'3". And you can see, I have plenty of room above my head because this is a taller coach. And you notice that we're getting both a skylight and a power vent fan in here. Now, this is awesome. Huge pantry, or pardon me, uh, cabinet space behind the toilet. A lot of manufacturers give you a very tiny space back here. But take a look at this. It goes as deep as a grown man's elbow. And again, I'm a tall guy with long gangly arms. You have full privacy in a J flight. Um, you see that uh, even up here in the bedroom, we still have the nicer LED lights. We still have the full ceiling height. They don't try to cheat it when you get up here. Not only do you have hanging storage on both sides of the bed, you still have uh, a, uh, a enclosed cabinet, not just a shelf above the bed. And it's extra deep. It's actually deep enough that it's hard to get light in there. Both sides of the bed have uh, a, a big space here for lights and fans and alarm clocks with a power outlet. The bed itself has a pair of struts to help you lift this to make it easier to get under. 
and you see the giant storage under here. This is your 30 pound propane tank cover. That is your RVQ grill that we've added to it. This is just a box of extra stuff. And you see how much room is still left under here. It's absolutely huge. And this is a good place to show you. Look under the bed of a lot of brands and you're gonna see what, how they actually build these things. This is plywood. This is real wood. It's not, it's not particle board. It's not press board. You don't see cheap wood construction. You see real wood used throughout this. If you open up a J Flight's drawers, you see plywood. Um, the, the fronts of the drawers on here are hardwoods. You see how the, every single part of this is all plywood box construction. This is built heavier, better, lasts longer, it's stronger. That's why it might be a dollar more, but that's why it lasts longer and that's why it has twice the guarantee for your peace of mind. Um, that's why J Flights have the best resale percentages in the market. This holds more of its value than anything else in its class. So give us a call, learn even more, 800-256-5196. Haywood Auto of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everyone. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.